Hello beauties, welcome back to Ipsy versus Ipsy. If you're new, what is Ipsy versus Ipsy? Well, my mother has an Ipsy subscription and I have an Ipsy subscription. And every month I take the two bags, I open them together, uh, I pick out which one is my favorite as a whole, and then I pick out my five favorite products to make my ideal bag from the 10 uh, items that we were given from Ipsy's wide variety of things that they send out each month. I will say uh, the, for the Ipsy versus Ipsy Plus this, this uh, month for June, I said at the beginning that I just like wasn't feeling it. And I've read all you guys' super supportive comments. And I love you guys so much. And I just, I appreciate you guys to the end of the earth. And I know I said that in that video as well, but um, I'm really trying to get back into like filming tutorials. And um, I'm really trying to work on like coming up with the hot week ideas right now and, and trying to start filling those. Um, I actually went back to like try and get myself more into it and watched Hall Week from last year and you know, picked out things that I was really proud of that I, we did with that series. Um, try to come up with ways to improve the videos and stuff like that. So I'm trying to get back to where I'm filming more regularly and I'm more excited about what I'm filming because right now it's, I'm just finding trouble like being excited about anything and like even things that should be exciting are like stressing me out. Like I'm trying to plan our wedding and it's, Literally the idea of the wedding is for it to be 12 people, our immediate family in our house. My brother is our officiant. There is nothing that should be stressful about this. And yet it is still stressful. It's been like, I gotta find a dress. And then I found a dress for like $30. And I was like, it's gorgeous. I'm so excited. Um, I will say, we'll talk about, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video talking about the wedding and how that's been going. Cause it's just, a, it's wild. But I bought like five dresses and uh, I don't know when I'm gonna wear them all, but I'm gonna find a time. They're all really pretty. And I think total, I spent like $200 for all of the dresses. Um, so yeah, I got some great deals on some really pretty dresses for my wedding, super exciting. But that was stressful. And then like, I'm like even trying to figure out catering. Cause normally if I have like our families over, I just cook and I don't have to cook on my wedding day. So it's just been stressful. Everything is stressing me out right now. And I'm distracted by things like that. And I feel like I'm making things that should be fun or like used to be fun, not fun. They just make them stressful, which is kind of what's happened with the channel. So that's a better explanation for like what my mental state is right now. But I do want you guys to know I'm really working on trying to improve that and trying to like put myself into a better mental spot so that uh, it comes out in the videos and I feel less like I'm going through the motions. Cause I think that's kind of like the best way to explain it right now. But I love you guys and your support means just absolutely the world to me. So thank you guys for all your kind words. Thank you guys for continuing to support us. And without further ado, let's look at what mom's bag is this, this month. This is mom's, hers feels pretty heavy. Uh, it doesn't look like she's opened it. So it's possible she might have add-ons in it. Um, but if you guys have been watching our Ipsy versus Ipsy videos recently, you know, mom's not been happy with ipsy specifically plus her standards seem to have been a little bit better but like she's just unhappy with plus as a whole now what you guys did comment on that ipsy versus ipsy plus was for her to change her age and i i mean when i i she watches our videos she reads the comments too so she saw but i texted her that night and i was like did you see people said change the age she put herself in her mid-30s which is about 20 years younger than what she actually is and we're gonna see. I'm gonna. It's a. We're conducting an experiment, and I fully trust you guys that this may actually solve it because it would totally explain why I am always getting makeup and she is very rarely getting makeup, but getting a lot of skincare stuff. It would make sense. It would make sense. So we'll see. Well, I'm excited to see how that winds up um, affecting her back. All right. I just. I loved the bags this month. I really did. This one is even more adorable than the one that we got in the plus. Honestly, it's got like the little raised lip. It's, it's so precious, so cute. Um, I am, I'm trying to see, I can't tell if she just got really bulky products or if there is an add-on in it. I, oh, it looks like she, so, okay. Initial inspection, mom's size of products is like pretty good for the standard. I mean, it's, she's got some like bulky stuff in here. So first thing I saw, this is a papaya caster scalp massaging serum from Eden Body Works. Yeah, I, it's two fluid ounces. It's a good size. Um, I, I've been talking about my scalp issues are continuing. They're, they're improving because I am really, really working to counter 
whatever damage has been done to my hair, whatever damage is going on. I mean, we've bought like a shower head that filters our water to try and improve the water quality. Um, I'm using products that are like more designed towards like scalp sensitivity and improving dandruff and things like that, scalp irritation. So yeah, I've been looking for products like this for a hot minute. I've been using them a lot more and I think this is a good product. Uh, it says it soothes scalps using vitamin A, or I'm sorry, vitamin blend of A, C, D, and E and it is meant to be hydrating and nourishing. Yeah, you just apply it into your scalp, massage it in and leave it in, don't rinse it. So yeah, I'm excited to see if that works for her. Um, I think she's also been trying to come up with like some uh, different hair care stuff. I know she's been buying a lot more like leave-in conditioners and things like that. So I don't know if it's something she's necessarily been looking for, but I do think it's something that she would use. Definitely something that I would love to see in my bag doesn't feel like I have it in there. My bag feels lighter. I could be wrong. I hope, I would I would be excited if I got that as well. Next thing we have is this little adorable palette. It is the Punk Rock palette from Lower East Side Cosmetics. It says it's a palette, but it almost looks like it could be an individual eyeshadow. So we'll see. Oh no, it is. It's a little eyeshadow quad, cute. They are, um, they're cute colors. They're all shimmer shades. So not what I prefer to see in an eyeshadow palette, especially a tiny one like this. I would normally prefer to honestly get an all matte one or to see like one to two glitter shades at most. Um, but they're pretty colors. Uh, I think my mom will use it. I just don't know if she'll use it regularly. But yeah, a cute little product. And honestly, with as much as she's been like not seeing makeup in her plus, it's nice to see like a little eyeshadow palette in her standard. So yes. Next thing we have is a, it looks like a perfume from Catherine, Catherine Melandrino. It is the Lux de Venice. Lux de Venice That's what probably it is. I don't know. Love that. Oh my gosh. I, oh, I love, I love that. I actually got a perfume a couple months ago. I like this one way more. It's more florally, but like not, I'm not like a really overly sweet floral person. It's like a, it's it, it's sweet with like a hint of um, like a spice to it. I wanna see what the fragrance, if it has like the breakdown. I love it when they give you like a, I was hoping it would be like, oh, it's got, oh, oh, there's a card. I wanna read about you. Nope. Damn, it's just a coupon code. Um, Yeah, it's, it smells like a perfume that I have, like similar to one, and I can't tell what it is. I don't know if it's lilies that I'm smelling or what. It's it. It's definitely floral, but it's not. It's not roses because I'm not a big rose fan. Like rose scent typically like is slightly off-putting to me. I don't know. I like it though. I'm a big fan of that. It's a, that's a good fragrance, and it's a good size. Like it's perfect for like in your wallet or in your wallet in your purse, and like you know I need a spritz throughout the day. Love it. Love big big fan of that. Next thing we have is from Benefit. This is the Pore Professional Super Setter. It is a nice little setting spray. Mom doesn't really use these, but I mean, I love having mini setting sprays because once again, throwing them in your purse, like if you know that throughout the day you might be sweating a little bit, you can like spritz it up, trying to like keep it all in place. Like it, good product, something we don't see very regularly. The final thing we have is Nourishing Body Scrub from Theory Body. This is made with Marcouge oil, argan oil, shea butter, and coconut oil. Uh, we don't normally see body scrubs either. And honestly, I don't prefer to see them, but overall I'd say her bag is like pretty top notch. Not super makeup heavy, but a lot of products that we don't really see all the time and a good variety of stuff. Honestly, the hair product and her perfume alone are worth the 12 bucks for the bag. I, I love this perfume. Like I love this perfume enough to like look it up and figure out how much it costs for me to buy it because it smells delicious. So yeah, decent bag. I'm definitely better than her plus. Let's see what I got. What am I working with now? <laughs> first things first. Uh, I got more sheet masks. I always get sheet masks. It's like a, it's like a bad joke. Um, I actually like sheet masks, so it's hard for me to complain. My mom doesn't use them at all, so it's better for me to get them than for her to get them because she's just like, I'm literally never gonna use these. But I do, I hate that I see them so regularly. Whatever, what are you gonna do? Uh, but this is from Suai, I don't know. I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce it. You guys know pronunciation of brands is not my forte. I can barely pronounce normal words. So. But these are the Food Story masks. It reminds me, I think there's like, there's another brand that does like the same type thing. They do like, like a, they have like a kale mask. And I know I've used that before. And like they, they, they look like smoothies in their packaging. I don't know. 
I like those masks a lot, so I'm thinking I probably will like these as well. But we have a pomegranate grenade and a kiwi kiwi, or maybe it's pomegranate grenadine. No, it's not grenadine, I know. It's granade. I'm going with grenade. I'm not okay. Send help. Uh, Yeah, so we got the pomegranate one and um, I'm trying to see if it tells us what it is meant to do. It is eco-friendly, it's biodegradable, which I like that a lot actually. We don't see that very often with these kind of masks, so that is nice to see. Um, but it is, oh, it's a renewal mask. So it's meant to like rejuvenate your, your skin, give it a little bit more like oomph. And then the Kiwi one is meant to tone. So it's supposed to like high and tight. I do like it and I do like what every time they send me sheet masks, they always give me more than one. So that is nice to see as well. Um, I just, I have like a whole drawer of them. So I'm kind of like meh every time I get them. So the only thing I got that mom got is the poor professional setting. Oh God, what the hell is that? Oh, that's what I chose. Damn, I cucked myself. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. It's like something my brother used to say. It just like came up, like it was like four years ago. He was, everything was, yeah. Yeah, so I got this. That was like the one, it's like not the worst product that I could have gotten that was a duplicate, but there's definitely other things in her box that like I would have preferred to get, but what are you gonna do? Um, okay, so I chose the Pretty Vulgar uh, Undercover Concealer in the shade 60. I was, I love getting concealers and foundations and I was like, oh cool, I haven't tried any from the Pretty Vulgar, but I like, like I've gotten some blushes and some uh, uh, bronzers from Pretty Vulgar and I really like them. So I was like, oh, I'll try this. It's tiny. He's, he's whittle. He's itty bitty. So probably could have chosen something better, but whatever. What are you gonna do? All right, the next thing I have is from Lottie London. This is the Slay All Day Longwear Matte Lipstick. It is also pretty small, but it's a really pretty shade. Something I definitely would gravitate towards pretty regularly, like that kind of like mauvey pink, like a purpley pink, not too dark, not too light. I like that a lot. Um, and then the final thing that I have is from Kismet uh, Fashion is Head to Toe. It looks like a blush. Yes, Blossom Blush. And it's like a very orange color. I don't really have anything similar to it. So uh, yeah, I, I like that a lot and it's a good size. Uh, Mom's bag definitely won this month for me. Uh, I think without question. I just like her whole, the whole, everything she got I pretty much like better. Um, I think if I had to pick out my ideal bag, I would go her hair product, perfume. I would go with my blush. That's two for her bag and one for my bag. I would go with my lip color. So two and two. I'm not really a big fan of her eyeshadow. Normally I would go with that. I actually think, even though I would choose her bag as a whole, I think I would actually stick with the two sheet masks. I do feel like I would use them more than I would the other products in her bag. So I technically it's three for my bag, two from her bag. But honestly, I like the hair thing and I like the, um, the fragrance so much that I think it still makes her bag the victor, even though technically I chose more products that came in my bag, if that makes sense. Um, I really love this perfume. This perfume is like one of the best perfumes I've smelled in recent days. I haven't really, I don't buy perfumes very regularly because you know, you buy like the big bottle and it lasts for like decades. So I don't buy them regularly, but I really, really like that fragrance. So yeah, um, what did you guys think about this month? Um, did you like your Ipsy standard? What did you think? I. I have been noticing a trend where I like my bags more than mom's um, for the past few months. And this is like one of the first ones where I felt like her bag was stronger than mine. So it is nice to see that because I do feel like she's kind of been on the on the lesser end of the, the, the winning wheel recently. So it is nice to see her get a decent bag. Um, I am a little bit envious of some of the products she got though. So definitely let me know what you guys thought about everything this month. If you liked your uh, bag, give our video a thumbs up. If you didn't like your bag, give our video a thumbs up because it helps a lot. If you like us, subscribe. You listen to me ramble a lot and then you listen to me ramble even more about me makeup products and you made it this far. So you might as well be part of the Dark Angel family. Um, other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well. You're safe, you're healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay really with a dark twist.